Jablam Sports presentation of the NBA Playoffs 2020 simulation. That's right. We are simulating every single game for the NBA Playoffs. We're doing it again tonight, every night, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific to start. We're starting with this game. we got a lot of games on tap today. Check them out. Boston, Phillies, first up. This series, 3-1 for Philly right now. So this series could be over tonight. And the Flyers, uh, sorry, the 76ers could take it. Wow. So let's get to this game. Simmons has been doing really well for, for the 76ers. The Celtics need more support. They need to play much better if they want to stay in this series. Or it could be over after this game. All right, enjoy. Game 5, 3-1. 76ers and remember go to our website jablamsports.com for all your stats series and information going up against the Boston Celtics. Taking a look at the Celtics, they were unable to grab one on the road in Game 4. But back on their home court, we'll see if what they need is a little home cooking. To call this a one-sided series might be an understatement. Shaq, is there any hope of making this a contest? I don't see any drastic changes that could be made to spark a comeback in this series. At this point, I think you're just playing for pride. It ain't over till it's over, Ernie. Everyone expects you to get eliminated now, so the pressure's off. Just play your game. Well, but you said it ain't over till it's over. Let me write that down because that's a good one. No one's ever said that in the history of basketball. It's, it ain't over till it's what? Over. Oh, that's very good. Thanks. Over. That's a memo. OVA. Oh, I was O-V-U-H. Whatever. Here's Kevin Harlan. An aerial view of downtown Boston, our location tonight, gives you a great idea of the beauty of this historic city. Desperation hangs in the air. One team looking to advance to the next round. The other... The other looking to force a game six. What will happen? These are the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics as they play against the Philadelphia 76ers. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Guys, Celtics coach Brad Stevens is known for his play calling. Ron James said, he has so many different wrinkles. You've got to keep your head on a swivel. He'll run something you've never seen before. But Steven said, honest to God, I've stolen everything we've ever done from somebody else. Kevin? <laughs> I love his honesty. All right, thank you, DA. I'll look at the 76ers starting group. The tall lineup out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and MB. And for the Celtics. Hayward at small forward with Tatum at the four. Walker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt. And it's Tice in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. the 76ers to start it. Richardson kicks to Simmons. A floater and Hayward with the block. Well, this is where Gordon Hayward has turned himself into a dependable two-way player. How good is he at using his length to turn away these shots? What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This time makes it look easy. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Here's Simmons. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. No answer for Simmons, a tenacious scorer who finishes with muscle through contact. The 76ers shooting their first free throw of the night here.
2018 Rookie of the Year. Simmons' NBA career got off to a great start, and he's only continued to improve. Now, here's Walker. To the inside, Tatum. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Harris with it. Now guarded by Tatum. Great D that time from Tatum. And a wide open look for Walker. Sinks the triple. Well, you can tell there's a team first mentality with the young gun Jason Tatum. Working to find the open teammate. Nice. Now here's MB. For three, Harris. No good that time. So the Celtics will take it the other way. They come off the loss on Friday. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game in. They didn't do that defensively. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the suitcase if you're going to win on the road, and they simply did not bring it. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. And there's the call, foul on Boston. The 76ers have shot just one free throw early, one for one in the game. First free throw is good. And MB drops them both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Pass to Tatum. Outside, Walker lets it go with a three. That one's rebounded by Embiid. The 76ers have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Knocks it loose. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. And Philadelphia has possession. Trailing by two. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Tice with the ball. Now Walker, just five to shoot. Brown, the pass to Walker. From deep. And Horford pulls it down. Walker's gone one of three shooting so far. Here's Richardson. Harris trying to get free. Richardson, no luck. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it back. Boston, no good that time either. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And that ties it up. Boston's gone 1 of 5 from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Here's Walker. Rebound by the 76ers. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Here's Simmons. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Tatum gets to Walker. Now the dish to Hayward. Tice passes to Walker. Off the mark and the drop continues. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Pass to Walker. The tray. Ben Simmons with the rebound. 
Well, it, it isn't for a lack of effort when it comes to getting up the three-pointers, but not much to show for it. He's going to lose the green light here very early in this game if this keeps up. Now here's MB. The pass to Harris. The 76ers with another miss. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Tatum's shot is off. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase not, your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. And at 6'10", a player like Simmons, to handle the ball the way he does, that's just not fair. And now, the first time out call here for Boston. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Cantry checked in for Daniel Tice. Williams comes in for Gordon Hayward. Marcus Marks checked in for Jalen Brown. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Kemba Walker. Here's Wanamaker. Smart kicks to Tatum. There's a minute left in the first quarter of the game. Williams passes to Cannon. A floater in deep. Smart drops it in. Uh, the clever floater, right? Marcus Smart putting the right amount of touch on what is really a tough shot. MB, the pass to Thibel. O'Quinn trying to free himself up. Thibel can't get it to go. Tatum drives in. And MB with the block. Pass to Milton. Stolen by Smart. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are battling. Boy, Greg, neither team willing to give an inch and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Down low. Pass to Thibel from downtown. Knocks down the three ball. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. 76ers lead by one. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. Al Horford provided some insight on why he decided to sign with Philadelphia. What put me over the, the edge to make this switch is just uh, the depth that I saw with this team. It's an up-and-coming young team that we have a chance to be good for many, many years, and it was something I wanted to be a part of. Playing for a historic franchise, Greg, they've got, of course, the great fan support, great history. Something Horford relishes. A, a great choice. A team with depth and youth, they have a chance to be good for a long time. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from Portside at Game 5. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? It just They've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. And this is why coaches say be aggressive. As long as you're playing smart, good things tend to happen, even if you're on the road. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And so in the game for the 76ers, we've got Kyle O'Quinn, Cork Mods is out there with Alec Burks, and it's Thibel in at the shooting guard position. Philadelphia with the ball. Marcus Smart missing that last shot. Burks, the pass to Thibel. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Burks. There's the triple. O'Quinn trying to free himself up. Burks can't get it to go. Pass to Wanamaker. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Shoots from 14. The 76ers again can't hit it. Celtics leading by three.
the kick out to Williams. From deep three-point range, the shot, no good. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Right wing to the paint. Here's Korkmaz, makes it off the glass. Korkmaz has got his first bucket of the night. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Cancer inside. Oh, Quinn defending. The shot, no good. 76ers have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Burks's shot is good. Oh, you love the cleverness of Alec Burks. My goodness, how remarkable is that into the lane and finish? Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Changes for Philadelphia. Al Horford is checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Harris comes in for Shake Milton. And Simmons subbed in for Alec Burks. Now here's Hayward. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Walker finds Brown. Here's Smart. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And the Celtics lead by one. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a great understanding of the game. He keeps his head moving, his eyes open, so he can spot the open man. Brown against Harris. Some solid defense from Brown. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Following the bucket by the Celtics, Harris. Hayward with some nice D. Boston leading by three. Brown outside. There's the pass to Poirier. Find the shoot. On deep. They grab their own miss. It's good. Now it's a five-point Celtic lead. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Here's Simmons. Another miss by Philadelphia. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. High point lead, the biggest of the game. Nice shot by Smart. Growing confidence in his jumper. Smart is rising and firing after the catch of the pass. Nice. Passes it to Harris. Here's Thibel. Back to Harris. To halt the run, and the layup is up and in. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. Celtics leading by five. Walker looking for an opening. Pass to Hayward. One oh six left to play here in the second quarter. That one's a miss. His third shot of the game. He's made one of them. Hayward against Simmons. Pass to Horford. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. And now just a three-point Celtic lead. I love it when Al Horford is challenging defenders to stay with him. Use your physicality, big man. Walker's shot is off. The 76ers have gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Horford trying to free himself up. That's a bucket. His third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. And when Simmons is inside, forget about it. He uses his skill and smarts to take advantage. Looking to get it going. Tries to save it. Now the 76ers on the break. Here's Korkmaz. He's covered by Brown. And that one's good. Korkmaz. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Here's Walker. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. 
and give him credit, good awareness of the time remaining. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Celtics out in front, leading by a point. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Coach, what is your impression of the first half? What did we play? I thought we found a really good balance of posting and pace is what we've been talking about. And uh, I thought our defense, for the most part, was excellent. Good start. We'll see how they finish. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're right. sitting in it. three of them. Right? And, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Taking a look at the Celtics, they've been outplayed this series. Currently desperate to keep their season alive, down 3-1. Tonight they're playing definitely with that sense of urgency that they need to, staying right in this game, hoping to force a game six. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Well, so far they won the battle of assists. They played more patiently and very unselfish in the first half. Good shot selection and nice flow of offense. Chat, what'd you think about Philadelphia? You know, they didn't play it too safe. They made some really nice shots. Those are some much-needed points, and it keeps them right in the game. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody. With Kevin Harlan. much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Ben Simmons really making a difference here. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. NBA playoffs, round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Walker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt. Hayward at small forward with Tatum at the four. And it's Tice in at the five down low. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Now here's Tatum. It's hauled in by Richardson. Simmons against Walker. And they double up Simmons. Here's Harris. The shot will not fall. And it's Boston the other way. Brown wide open, he fires. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got three assists tonight. Well, you've got to get out on Jalen Brown now. This is a young man who has shown great strides in improving his perimeter game. The feed now to Embiid, and the dunk by Embiid. Mm, mm, mm. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it. That was ferocious. Brown the pass to Tatum. Here's Tice, guarded by Horford. Nice call, movement by Boston. Brown, good. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Checked in. Philadelphia also making some changes. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Horford. Shake Milton comes in for Harris. And it's Burks in for Ben Simmons. Now, here's Burks. From about 16, misses off the left eye. 
Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Here's Tatum, and again, it's Boston converting. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Now, here's Burks. Richardson outside. Here's Milton. A three ball. Rebounded by the Celtics. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Some changes for Boston. Ennis Canner's checked in for Daniel Tice, and it's Robert Williams in for Gordon Hayward. Here's Wanamaker, Richardson cover. Outside Williams. Brown finds Williams. Six to shoot. Here's Wanamaker. He can't hit that time. Good work defensively by Richardson. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? Here's Wanamaker. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Williams passes to Wanamaker. Fires the three. That shot, no good. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Richardson against Brown. Here's Burks. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Love to see Alec Burks get aggressive with the defense. This guy terrific getting the defense to foul him. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Alec Burks, Kevin, continuing to develop into a dependable scorer. He's got great size for a two-guard. Smart's checked in for Boston. Harris is checked in for the 76ers. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Here's Wanamaker. Outside, Tatum takes a three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. And there's the pass to Burks. Williams against Harris. Williams with the block. Uh, the amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space means he's more than just a rim protector. Doesn't care where you're shooting from. Here's Wanamaker. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. Passes to Tatum. Launches it. Good on the triple. Tatum's got nine. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Now, here's Richardson. Pass to Milton. He kicks to Harris. Williams with the block. Smart deciding where to go with it. To Wanamaker. One twenty one left in the third quarter of the game. Boston needs to get off a shot. The three from Tatum. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now the pass to Milton. Kicks it to Embiid. Passes it to Milton. the floater. 
And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. Kemba Walker is checked in for Brad Wanamaker. There's 45 seconds left to play in the third. Shot clock at six. Here's Fable. No good off the back of the rim. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. You got a shadow walker. His mid-range game is on point. There's 18 seconds left here in the third quarter. Takes the 13-footer. Burks can't get it to go. Outside Tatum. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And so it's the Boston Celtics holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one and so in the game for the 76ers the talented combo up front Horford and MB then there's Ben Simmons and it's Korkmaz in the three slot here's Korkmaz to the middle and he lays it straight in and the D not really doing its job there a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint Walker against Simmons, and stolen by Horford. And now here comes Simmons, leading the break. Oh, oh that was worth the price of admission. <laughs> yeah, whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane jumping skills, he sees it. Fourier passes to Smart. Walker against Simmons, and stolen by Simmons. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Launches the three, and he's good on the three ball. Thibault's got five points now this quarter. And that's what Simmons does. His vision and accuracy make him a premier presence on the floor. And now the 76ers on the break. Trips down the breakaway slam. There's a certain resiliency to this team, and, and you're starting to see it. No doubt, Greg. Keeping it very close. They're going to have to step up even more to get over the hump here. Now a timeout called by Boston. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. Jalen Brown comes in for Smart. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Tobias Harris is checked in for Korkmaz. 
Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens had to say to his team. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game. Thanks, David. Now, here's Horford after Ennis Cantor's miss. Horford double team. Harris looking it over. Over Walker. And misses it off the right side of the rim. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Now here's MB. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Walker. Yes, that goes in. For Philadelphia, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. And the 76ers call time here. The short rest, very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. And he's checked in for Philadelphia. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And it's six points for Joel Embiid. And, and Simmons is just the total package. I mean, a player that can really dish it to his teammates. Pass to Brown. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by Joel Embiid. And Beach got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. Yeah, just great. Whenever Simmons takes over a possession like that, what a killer instinct. Pass to Cannon. Now Tice. Hayward on the way. Outside, Walker. Five on the clock. Over Simmons. And it's Walker that time on the assist by Hayward. And that's 11 points for Kemba Walker. Well, that's the IQ of Gordon Hayward on display. He understands what the defense is trying to take away and finds the open man. Now here is Harris. Not loose. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. And the Celtics making a change here. Tatum's checked in. Here's Walker. The pass to Tice. This is to Brown. He kicks it to Hayward. Lock at six. Now, here's Tice. Defense is right there. Walker's shot is off. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for Philadelphia. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. He doesn't hit that one. Hayward with some nice D. Again, the miss by the Celtics. The 76ers have gone six and nine on the field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. And then Simmons slams it in. And really, Simmons is nearly impossible to contain when he's sprinting to the hoop. An athletic behemoth who causes defenders fits. 
Now, here's Walker. Comes up empty down low. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 15-6 run. Inside, MB. It falls! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They trail by three. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Ben Simmons. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Now, here's Walker. Simmons with the defensive effort. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. first and that gives them a four point cushion so he goes two for two at the lock and it's a five point game He's able to make it a two-possession game with some solid work at the line right there. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're down by five. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Count it! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And, and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time, Greg. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Simmons. Shoots over Walker. Bank shot. No good. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. Greg, this is all about execution. Can you free an open man from the three-point line? That's what it comes down to. And they do it. They'll move on to round two. They had control the whole series, and they are just rolling now, winning round one, four games to one. And they are going to be tough to beat, Kevin. A few days' rest afforded by taking this one in five. Round two should be exciting as well. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Al. The coach mentioned he wanted to come into this building and do whatever was necessary to win. Did you think you guys had the intensity to get that done? Yeah, no question. I, I like the energy from our team from the beginning. Um, you know, uh, to be able to come in here and then get a win like this, it, it feels good. Great road win tonight, Al. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, that'll do it for now. And you can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our terrific 2K Sports crew. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you later. And just like that, the series is over. Philly upsets Boston 49-46 in Game 5. They take the series four to one. What a game! They they edged them out right there at the end.
had a Celtics had a few chances down the stretch and just kept on mix, mixing uh, mi- missing bu- buckets. They went on a I think 17-4 run in the fourth quarter during that fourth quarter. Wow! So Celtics just blew the bucket there and lose the series. Big game. Embiid was good. Simmons was good for the 76ers, and that's it. That's all she wrote. Celtics are going home. Second team kicked out of the Jablam Sports NBA 2020 playoff simulation. All right, everybody, if you want any more information, go to our website, jablamsports.com. We have all our stats, series information, team stats, league leaders, and the playoff brackets and everything, including all the past games and live games on our website, jablamsports.com. You can check us also live on Twitch, and you can see all the past games on our YouTube page. You can follow us all over social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, our Reddit page. Check us out. All right, we'll pause right now for a second as we get ready for the next game.